Good evening, dear colleagues. We're completing the work of this conference. This were complicated day for the organizers, participants, the hosts of the section. But generally speaking, we have been able to fulfill all our plans and we came to the final exchange of opinions. So what was interesting during these sections? Maybe we have some ideas for the future. I think that we are going to go along the program and I would like to give floor to Anna Kozlova when she was uh, hosting section with Yuri uh, Kupriyanov. Anna, how was it? Tell us, please. Thank you very much, Irina Demirovich. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Well, I think that we were able to shed some light on our approaches and solutions to the development of SAP competencies, both in professional and e academic uh, communities, and also make an emphasis on current realities and challenges. Well, challenges which are given to us by the pandemics, they are not coming to an end. So both we and business, and like we've heard from other sections, students and universities will have to face some new situations, complications. However, with a great pleasure, I'm following this project uh, on teaching thousands of uh, students on SAP for HANA, which is provided by our University Alliance. And just yesterday, Anton Ambraje was t talking to us about this. It gives great opportunities for kids in the professional field. I hope that we're going to see new interesting projects in this year and year to come. And we're going to share this with you, with our participants, during our next event. Okay, thank you very much. That was a very interesting experience, and I could read about it in a Facebook, about some points at least. Father Gennady, you've been uh, chairing session on pedagogical communications. What about the communication? Uh, were you able to organize it? Did you... Were you able to do everything? Well, I have mixed feelings on one side. I'm really happy by the composition of the uh, people who participated. It was well balanced and we have received uh, things that we have expected from them. Technically, it was challenging because the most important thing for us was discussion, but then we had to go into classical format when presentations took most of the time. And the thing that we like the most, the discussion, which is aimed by questions and examples from the audience, it was very difficult to organize it. However, all the participants were happy and were ready to continue and ready for future meetings. So the best effect was uh, from Mark Brown when he was asked a question. Like, we are living in constantly changing pedagogical concepts and ideas, which seems that will change everything and they will solve all the problems, but what? is the best hype that you can name. He thought about it and he said, you will be surprised about uh, offline teaching. I was really surprised, but then if you think about it, yes. Offline teaching solves a lot of questions. It's so wonderful that as soon as all the computers and gadgets will be switched off and everybody will stay face to face, immediately level of education will suddenly go up. No, nobody knows why a year ago or two years ago uh, it wasn't moving in this direction. So it's a serious challenge and as always public opinion is fluctuating in different directions. But there were proposals uh, for serious generalizations and research upon the result of the experience that has been acquired in recent six months. And I would like to tell you that our section is developing from year to year. So I think that next year is going to be much better, irrespectively to which format we're going to utilize for this conference. Online format 
uh, gave a gave us certain conclusions and a number of proposals have been offered. Also with great pleasure I've been watching the work of other sections. It was difficult to see all of them working but nevertheless I've got a great pleasure from observing the work of our colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you Father Gennady. I also was able to see how the sections were going and I would like to say that some general common sense is being formed and I don't know about the precise education well we missed it during this conference networking that we've had last year it's too sad we didn't have it this year but this is life these are our current realities everything is uh, understood through comparison so next year it's not going to be like it was this year or like it was last year Svetlana Vladimirovna, what about your session? Was everything that you wanted to achieve achieved? Thank you, Rina Demirovich. I think that this section was successful. It was, we had very active communication and we have exchanged the experience that we wanted to demonstrate and we have understood that module helps us to inbuild different plugins into it and realize different activities, integration with IT systems. Partially, they can even replace some of those uh, systems, uh, provisioning systems, uh, which have to be. And upon the results of the general communications, once again, we came to an idea. We were coming with this idea, but we do hope that we will actively go into its development because we have accumulated very big background, which has to be demonstrated and exchanged on some common platform. So I hope we will be able to do that. It's not just going to be a story in presentations, but we will give users possibility to test how these plugins look like. So I do hope that by next autumn, we will be able to show this uh, possibility to everybody. In order to organize it, after the conference, you should keep the communications uh, with those who've been active during the communications, during the conference. We have already created Telegram channel and we are exchanging our opinions there. Wonderful, wonderful, because uh, you had such interesting people. I couldn't watch all the presentations, but I do know that Kimish is wonderful in his area, Bilanian. And these are people you can make a lot of things with. Yes, perhaps all of them have got connected to this channel. And if we have somebody who wants to connect, because it's a private uh, channel, private group. However, you all know us, and if you want to join, then just write us. Okay, let's keep intrigue. And in one year during the conference, you're going to tell us what results have you achieved. Okay, okay, good. We also had section digital technologies and business education. And due to the fact that uh, he's from America, he cannot be online with us. But nevertheless, from my side, I've listened to everything that was uh, expressed out there. And I would like to say that for speakers, uh, felt very comfortable with each other and they honestly opened the topic and they have shown the landscape of modern education. It was very interesting. Thank you very much, Alexei and participants from universities. Ethologia, Sverbank, St. Peter University. So everybody who participated, it was just interesting. Then during the second day, we had ontology in educational activities section. I would like to hear a comment about the results uh, from uh, Dmitry Ilyich and Ivan Lastovich. Who's going to be commenting? Thank you very much. I think it was really successful. We've heard six different presentations uh, in different aspects. And I think that all these presentations had differences uh, to approaches, results, and motivations, and generally, general opinion on the ontology, not just philosophical category, but also as a tool of solving certain objectives. So generally speaking, 
I would like to say that this year my impression is not worse than last year and this format was good and it even helped us in uh, some senses to hold our communications effectively. Ivan Ivanovich. Ivan Vasilich also has problems with the sound. Ah, my mic was switched off. So right now everybody can hear me. During preparation, we have changed a little bit the approach I've looked at. The lists of when anthologies were used uh, by publications. Then I have started communicating with those authors and offered them to make a presentation. And with consideration of this online format, it helped us to join our colleagues. And what was so good about this section, like Dmitry Ilyich have emphasized, the problem of managing the process of the life cycle of educational programs was proposed to be looked upon by a tool which would allow us from the birth of educational program idea until its realization and control points we can use all of it and it all can be in a framework of a single tool set what else was pointed out by everybody everybody is at the march and results are expected within a year or six months. So everybody works in some field exercise. And the second topic specifies that all these works which are conducted, these or that way, they are demanded by university, uh, whether on the level of management or on the level of deans. But people expect those results and specifically uh, if goes four was planned to introduce and they've been thinking about changing everything there is no common architectural opinion and the fact that anthology creates good foundation for this people been speaking about it and in addition we had some questions from outside so the section was uh, successful everybody liked it and I've received letters from everybody with thankfulness for invitation and I would like to say thanks to all the participants who showed their interest desire and prepared interesting presentations thank you you know I have the following question to you sometimes I have to expertly evaluate projects in the area of the content of education uh, then communication a modal connection and I see a place for anthology. And people do talk about these uh, topics, but not systematically. You know, tactics and strategy, tactics without strategy, it's a way to loss. So can we offer community some strategy from this point of view? Will we be able this year to form some strategic vision? I think this is a wonderful idea because anthologies by themselves as a tool are meaningless in the hands which have no objective of anthological engineering that's why we should speak more and we should demonstrate successful experience great you know we also had a section education and digital economy which just has finished and we have agreed to continue our communications and make some new educational program in the area of uh, economy with the digital content so we can take it and uh, especially for the practicum in the ontological area Galina Evgenia what do you think were we were we able to fulfill everything that we had as an objective well you've heard yes we did the section has been completed uh, the feeling is kind of dual on one side. Everybody understands that we have to change uh, in the academic environment. However, the internal resistance is still great and we still have to work a lot. It would be interesting to create such a course, at least make an attempt to create this course. And there was a desire expressed, the course that would unite economical directions and uh, would build 
into the educational program, this digital blog, in a vision that is highly demanded in the market today. And as a tool, anthology would be wonderful. Last summer, when we've been preparing the background in the same direction, uh, it was asking to be used so we could use this tool on a real project and see how we'll be able to do it by the next spring, let's say. So we even have a schedule and we can start doing this. Yes, we have ideas for the next year and I do hope if this section will also be well represented next year like this year, we can provide certain results. So thank you very much for this opportunity to get together in this format. And this format also has a lot of advantages. Yes, it's too sad that we're not able to discuss some topics with each other, but I think that it was a successful networking. Yes, we did have the same feeling. From the point of view of resistance, this atmosphere that we could feel in Dolinsky's section is a wonderful example that we do have places where this resistance doesn't exist and everybody else can be taken to this location uh, for the excursion. And it was a corporate university of Sberbank and St. Petersburg University. Uh, something like that, I don't remember exactly. Uh, Mr. Kurotov was from them. So we have where can we send people and then we can uh, join Mr. Skripkin uh, in his work about effective contract in order to motivate <coughs> teachers uh, to go into the direction of changes. We need some balance. I really want to uh, teach offline because I'm tired of the online. We also had a tense section where we try to make the design thinking uh, brainstorming. Has it failed fully or partially? Well, we have talked uh, with uh, sub-education and with the colleagues. We did like it, but we have looked at the big topic and we have understood that people just have tasted, but then we have to move on. We didn't come to any results. We have a problem with moderation so that in the very beginning we wanted to receive certain results, but we have not specified that we have working model or whatever else. We weren't able to do that, but at the same time, we have invited 16 active people to talk about it. People have shared their knowledge, and three of them have written me, not all of them, but three of them, they've asked me when there is going to be continuation. Uh, so this information is stored in the matrix. So if we could give it to people, how to work with it for, on, uh, for the business educational community and business education, then possibly in one iteration, we will see the result quality growing. But I really like it. There are lessons that we have to learn, like we did last year. Uh, same should be here. We should have more lessons to learn than the last year. Yes, yes, of course. And classically, it's a uh, co script. We have grew up strongly. And we had even less time. Okay, thank you. Dear colleagues, we are finishing our conference. We're finishing our round table. Renat Demirovich, one second, please. Well, I'm not closing it like right now. But Ivan Vasilich, you can do that. You can say, well, I have uh, following desire or request to Yuri Kupriyanov about our ideas and how to develop remote education between Paul Surgut Neftigas and Surgut University and a positive experience that we have acquired. I went through the course on SAP, which happened during the pandemic period. I liked it and irrespectively to very strict contest with the consideration of our participation and participation of our colleagues from Surgut, 
or master graduates uh, possibility to include this course which just has started because we really want to participate and we are trying to get involved in the alliance so that so good university would enter this alliance on a whole on a full level and would participate in it on a full level with the financing etc okay yuri invites everybody into this alliance that's wonderful wonderful thank you colleagues in the end of our round table i have a blitz question to each one of you can you give blitz answer to this question which topic should be discussed during the next conference definitely anna can you give the answer to this question now do you have any ideas it's a complicated situation well speaking about sap uh, teaching learning center are there any topics yes the there is a topic considering the fact that our norm is a hybrid format and perhaps we should bring this format to a new level both from the point of view of client adaptation for this new format and from the point of view of adopting trainers because it's a great challenge for them to manage two audiences at the same time so something related to this i think we will be advanced by that moment of time okay we have recorded this idea father gennady rinat damirovich our conference has an idea here and now so I think if we would look at the desires, our desires from the last year, it would cause only smiles, you know. So here and now we've done what we could, but then and later we will do it when it will happen. The only thing I'm thinking about it, and maybe we could hold it a little bit earlier when the weather is much better in Moscow. So it's, if it's going to be an offline conference, then we shouldn't leave the uh, university rooms and we could take pleasure of the golden autumn. Other ideas are not really interesting to me because we have a very good uh, thoughts about our future work. Father Gennady, like real secret agent, he's not delivering and discovering his plans. Dmitry Ilyich, I would propose to think about digital entity topic, because we all live digitally. Maybe we don't exist. Um, so let's discuss this topic. Who are we, our digital twins? Well, philosophers have given the answer to this topic. Well, philosophers let them think about their ideas. But from technical characteristics point of view and from the point of view of functional, well, ontological model of digital entity. Okay, good, understand you. Good. Polinevgenna. I think, you know, those things which are really interesting to us, we have invented a business for the next autumn and we will continue development of this particular course. However, what is to be done with the teachers? What is to be done with our uh, teachers that work in regional universities? This is a very acute question. And how can we solve it? Where should we send them to re-educate? Or how can we attract this education to them? Because we should keep those teachers. But how can we keep them? Which tools should we apply? What can we do in the conditions of limited resources? human resources. So it's an interesting topic that we have to listen on what other people and what the community thinks about it. Motivation is not a simple question because those people who work with their head, traditional ways of motivation, especially negative motivation, does not work on them. Okay, thank you very much. Slada, you have told us partially what you're going to do. Maybe you have some other ideas. As I understand from the current discussion is it's not Moodle. Moodle, this is our current situation, this is our past situation and promising future. The topic which I think has not been discussed and I don't know should it be discussed during a conference like this, but this topic is about integration of different types of educational plugins and possibilities and educational resources in the educational process of building the discipline. Things that we see right now with emergency transfer to the distance and even during the realization of the mixed education. 
this is not the best option, I would say. The same video lectures with the usage of different webinar rooms. Well, teachers are getting lost, and not only teachers who know nothing uh, about different types of digital resources and technologies. All the teachers are getting lost within these technologies because they have to switch into these mixed learning and teaching format or emergency distant learning and they start using the teams skype any chats plus the conspect of the presentation but we should have integration of a teamwork different tools that allow us to truthfully not to lose the learning quality but even better make it even more interesting and attractive. And honestly speaking, this is a topic of pedagogical design and understanding of what can be used, and even wider understanding of the audience with what can be used and how can it be used. For example, when we speak about RAL, we understand what stands behind it. So if you will get to the audience of the teachers and you will tell them, nobody will know what this whole RAL is. So it's an interesting topic, I think. Okay, Svetlana Vladimirovna, I would like to tell you by a secret. SAP doesn't like mural, but in this case, there is an agenda for joint work because Anna was speaking about hybrid approaches and things what Svetlana Vladimirovna is offering can be useful for all of us, especially here. So, Father Gennady, welcome. Well, I would like to say that Svetlana Vladimirovna gave us a very good idea and even I will come out of my secrecy because uh, we can pull this section through many other sections, for example, through Maria Blaschke. She is the head of the master's degree program. Management of uh, technically enhanced learning. In other words, uh, she is basically works in this direction and others as well. If you look at what Brown does in Dublin, they also connect together all existing teaching pedagogical possibilities and they have very interesting situations. So we have technical people who know how to do it and they know what is mural and why SAP people don't like it. And at the same time, we have uh, theoreticians and practitioners who implement this into the learning process. So we can make this additional end-to-end -end topic where there's going to be cross-section of all the topics, not just saying how wonderful was it for everybody, but to use this expertise and mix it together. We can do it even in a format of this project session like, like with Yuri. Okay, thank you. Interesting idea. And right now we'll say mural. Mural. Yeah, it sounds so Russian. You said mural. I thought, yes, why mural? Mural. Yuri, what do you think? Maybe next year we shall have design thinking in digital competencies for some humanitarian master's program because everything was so technical this time. Well, I like this idea, and it will attract a wide developed networking of Father Gennady, speaking about humanitarian. It's going to be wonderful, because honestly speaking, this is pro-SAP communication, both academic and professional during our session. So it's going to be interesting to listen and get a feedback from our event, from our section, from humanitarians. Well, if they like it, but this idea can be discussed. Yes. Okay, colleagues, maybe it's going to be enriched. Okay, dear colleagues, thank you very much. Do you have any ideas, proposals, interesting ideas? I understand that each one of you have a lot of interesting ideas about our conference. Okay, then thank you very much for your ideas. Uh, Organizational committee, our broadcasters, because they've been fighting with the sound, and yesterday they did it greatly. Everybody next to us, everybody who's been doing design, uh, provided communications, distributed letters, everybody who's been preparing uh, presentations and presented them here. 
so we have the result of this conference. It has been completed. So everybody are good people and see you next. Let's follow the announcements during our site. In order for us to have a possibility to get even better, please answer the public poll. And we have this public poll in the chat and it will come with a letter after the conference. So thank you very much. Success and don't be sick. Be healthy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.